instrument tie. In certain situations, for example if there is only a very short suture end available, it is possible to tie the knot by using the needle holder. In this tying procedure, however, only the short suture end may be clamped instrumentally. Any other squeezing in the suture line has to be avoided, since it would produce predetermined breaking points which reduce the stability of the suture. In order to form the basic loop of the square knot, the long right suture end coming from behind and below is wound once around the jaws of the needle holder, which is held in the right hand. The short suture end is grasped and pulled through the produced loop. By pulling the right long suture end to the left and the short suture end to the right, the first loop is completed. The second opposed loop is now formed by leading the long suture end around the needle holder in the opposite direction. The short suture end is again grasped with the needle holder and led to the left. The long suture end is led to the right and then pulled. This is how to tie the square knot instrumentally. Alternatively, the long suture end can also be wound around the needle holder from above. After grasping the short suture end, it is pulled through the produced loop. Both suture ends are again pulled crosswise, with the needle holder crossing under the left hand.